What do I do on this show again? I can't remember anymore. I must need some kind of a crash course to remember. Oh, hello! Welcome once again to Citanium Mine, a show I do for reasons I'm still trying to remember. We are back after taking a little bit of a break after the very intensive every game that I played from the year list, which is uh, quite a marathon. And so I thought I would come back in style to discuss one of the greatest games of all time. Doritos Crash Course. Truly a masterpiece of our time. Hashtag not sponsored content. If you ever wanted to feel the cool ranch thrill of American Gladiators or American Ninja Warrior or American Consumerism, well, this is how you do it. Doritos Crash Course was released in 2010 after a pretty nacho-cheesy rebrand from Avatar Crash Course. It's considered an advert game, which is a video game that is developed by or with direct collaboration from a brand in order to sell you a product. And I'm not quite sure how this was supposed to sell you Doritos, but here we are. Any description of the plot will not do it justice. Imagine if you had a Hunger Games, where you raced for your life against a clock, dodging a demonic obstacle course that seeks to kill you, all while an excited crowd cheers in the background, awaiting your imminent demise. However, the game uses your own Xbox avatar as your character, making the harrowing journey far more personal, as if you are playing a limon-flavored squid game. The gameplay has everything. Running, jumping, sliding, swinging, Spicy, sweet, chilly. Yeah. In fact, the action was so flaming hot that I had to put this game down after just an hour. It was just way too stimulating and my heart couldn't take it. Still, I was able to get through most of the courses that were unlocked without buying the DLC. If I had one criticism, which is very hard to find, it would be the surprising lack of Doritos in the game. Considering the very direct integrated sponsorship seen in the game's title, very little of the game has anything to do with the tortilla chips and their impressive roster of flavor options. It's like, where my salsa verde at, right guys? A serious oversight on behalf of the developers, who would later work on Fallout Shelter. No, I'm not joking. Overall, the game really made me feel like a product placement, and few other games have ever achieved that. It was like a sweet and tangy barbecue in my hands, which is probably why they were sweating so much. This is the part of the show where I tell you about an alternative game that you should play, but I really have nothing to offer this time. There is no other title that can match the thrills, the excitement, the corn chips, the freeness of this game. And therefore, I submit that Doritos Crash Course is unparalleled, especially because it's a triangle. And so, leave if you must upon our brand new minecart sponsored by Acme Explosives. Just don't jostle the dynamite around too much because it is very finicky. Well, yeah, I mean, you can walk if you want. But where's your thrill of adventure? Oh, you don't have any? Figures. 